Hello. Hi, good afternoon. Is that Stephen? Yes, yeah, speaking. Stephen, it's Jason Curtis speaking from South Africa. How are you? Nice to speak to you, Jason. I'm fine, actually. In Chicago, and it's cold. Is it cold? Oh, well, yeah. I, I won't rub it in your face that it's, uh, it's about 33 degrees here and, and sunny. But <laughs> Go away. <laughs> it can't be all that bad. No, no, it's okay. It's good, good to be in the States, anyway. Mm. And uh, how's South Africa? Is it good? Yeah, it's good. Apart from being warm. Yeah, no, it's good at the moment, as I must admit. Uh, I, I'm looking forward to Christmas. Christmas, like uh, like you won't believe, it's it's, it's, it's been a I think a hell of a year for a lot of people. So uh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, but a, but a good one for you, I think. Yeah, a good one. But um, you know, sort of dying to get home actually for Christmas. Really, so kind of. Uh, yeah, I've been on the road solid for about three months now. So yeah, enough to know. Go home. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how, what to do? Uh, but then again, the day, I mean, I'm sure this is a, this is an opportunity that you've been looking forward to for a long time. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. I mean, mm. I'm I'm personally li- living my dream. You know, mm. so to be eleven. Mm. What I've wanted to do. Mm. And here I am. Mm. And, and and you've been paid to do it, which makes it all the more. Being paid to do it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? How, how does it actually uh, sort of feel for you taking your music? I mean, uh, you know, to a place like America, where you know, I mean, it being as vast as it is vast. Um, you know, are, are, do, are people embracing it in the same way that they that they have done in the UK? Yeah, yeah, it's um, it's quite scary actually on on, on this album because um, we, we we did a lot of touring on the, with, with the first album. Mm. Um, I I didn't actually plan the first album. Mm-hmm. Robert did, but um, yeah, that's okay. I, I, I think <laughs> Robert left after six months after the album was released. Right, and I didn't. I I toured most of that album, and we sort of, we did a lot a lot of work, like th- three years, two years on the road, or something mm. solid, you know. Mm. Um, and then, this album, this time, um, it's, it's obviously gone off in Britain again, but that was sort of, you know, at the moment that the whole band is sort of looking around going, England, so what? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, it's yeah. Deal. yeah, yeah, so what, yeah. It's been this, like, um, world domination mentality going on. Yeah. The whole, world's, the whole world's reacted to it. It's scary. Yeah. It really is scary. With, um, with the whole British tour, um, Belgium, France, Spain, Italy. We did our first ever gig in Italy in Milan. It was uh-huh. eight, 1,800 people. We sold out a month before we got there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, complete sold out Europeans. So I'll come to America. All the gigs are selling out in America as well. And it's kind of, what's going on? So I can't really answer your question. I'm not really sure. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a well, bit scary. Sure, <laughs> sure. But I mean, obviously, you know, that uh, you're doing something right. And, um, you know, obviously, by comparison to the first album, not much different. Um, um, as to the first, obviously, just a, I think, obviously, just a more of a settling down. But uh, mm-hmm. I- interesting that uh, that on this album, uh, well, this was the album that uh, you know that the band and yourself d- decided to take to the world. Yeah, totally. Mm. Um, I, th- I think the world wanted it as well, in a way. Mm. That's what it feels like. Mm. Mm. It's kind of it's, we're getting the same reaction all over, it, and it's it's very interesting. I mean, but it's it's hard to just kind of. It's hard to understand sometimes because I've, I've never been in this position before, you know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the whole world sort of wants to talk to you and they, um, they want to come and see you play. Um, mm-hmm. uh, but, but it, I mean, it's, it's good fuel for, you know, for the, for the band. I mean, we're, we're keeping it together very well. Mm-hmm. We're, all, we're all very happy together. Mm-hmm. And, you know, we're playing really, really well mm-hmm. all, all over the place. I don't think I've had a bad show in three months, actually. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Don't, nice. don't jinx it the other day. <laughs> but Den- Denver last night, which didn't happen. No. Interesting. Uh, huh? Well, why was that? Um, because we well, we, well, we played in America. We did um, flew from Paris to Boston. Mm. And we did Boston, Providence, Albany. Mm. And then we flew to Chicago and then to Denver. Mm. And the gear should have gone straight to Denver. Oh, dear. It arrived. It arrived there yesterday morning, oh, six thirty in the morning. So it was there for us to play. Yeah, play with. And and by nine thirty, they'd flown it to Chicago. Oh, All right. right. <laughs> not good. Not good. No. Not good. Not no. good. And, uh, you know, a freight company saying this hasn't happened to us in fifteen years. Yeah, but it's, it's happened great. today. <laughs> yeah, and it's happened to me. Yeah, you don't need that. That's <laughs> shame. But um, as I said, um, obviously would. With, with with the new album, I think um, as I say, just you know, on, on you know, on going through it, it's um, 
it's obviously a, 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 a more settled album for the band because uh, everyone's obviously a lot more comfortable with with, with what placebo are about. Yeah. Um, and I mean, that comes through um, on many levels. But I think, in a way, placebo sound is... Uh, is, is something unique. Nobody else is doing it, or anyone who has tried can't do it successfully. And I think um, that could be one of the reasons why um, why you're being so well received is because for I think the last at least three years, uh, the world's been crying out for something new and something different and something that isn't grunge, something that isn't in your face. Um, and I think this is it. Yeah, I, th- I, th- I think it can. I mean, if you break it down, I think it become it comes from the point that. We're not actually a British band. Mm. We're, we're sort of UK based. But yeah, mish, 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 mish. Yes. Yeah, branch American. I'm, I'm, I'm the only Brit there, and I'm, yeah. I'm sticking with those two. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and it's kind of, you know, Steph's gay, Brian's bisexual, I'm straight. I mean, mm. yeah, I think people can take you from literally any angle. Mm. You know, it's, uh, and I mean, it's it's an epitome of of, uh, of where a lot of uh, a lot of people are at in the sense that you you actually service every market if you think about it. Exactly. Totally. Yeah. T- totally. I mean, you know, we're we're, we're kind of cross um, not just with the usual sort of indie rock kids. Uh, mm. age, I mean, you know, just a lot of gay papers and a lot of um, gay audiences grown and stuff sure, like that. Sure. And sure. I haven't got a problem with that. It's you know, everything's cool. I mean, mm. the band feel comfortable in anywhere together really it's yeah and there's a respect as well I think for what you're doing in the sense that you know Brian is 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 helping in his way you're helping in your way and Stefan in his which that's it, mm. that's it. I mean the, the, this new album was definitely you know 33 and a third all round mm. it's, it's, it's a, a three way effort mm. I think this album's more just it feels like a, a big but very natural step mm. um Musically, yeah, the, the band has calmed down, but it's also, you know, exploring, investigating, trying to find out new things. Um, mm. and we started writing the third album already, and it's kind of, Stunning. you know, we're just experimenting, finding things out. Mm. And I think because we're not from Britain, and we, we don't usually go, for, and, uh, and most British bands go for all the sort of retro, mm. sort of thing, mm. colour scene and all that kind of True. thing. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> it, 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 it makes us achieve the point where we we, have, we don't have any boundaries. We can actually do anything we want, mm, mm, um, and, that, and that's how it feels. We do, we don't feel tired. Like oh, we must come up with another Nancy boy. We must come up with another, another pure warning. We mm, must do this, and it's like no, you know, we don't. We don't have to do any of that. We can do anything we want. Mm, mm, um, <clears throat> we also make it you know acceptable to listen to for, for us first, and then you know for mm, the mm. listener second. And then I mean, w- when you look at the at the new album, would yeah, was there sort of a conscious effort to, to make this album more accessible to a wider audience, um, or was it just the way that, that the whole thing sort of panned out? It's just, it's, it's really the, the, the whole way that the thing happened. I mean, Brian and Steph were, were having problems with Robert, mm. um, and so, you know that's why he's not there anymore. Mm. And um, you are, yeah. Mm. And uh, it was kind of. I think because they were having such a rough time together that they stopped communicating and, and stopped writing. So when I joined, there was just this, oh, you know, this flow of creativity. Mm-hmm. Um, <clears throat> I've known Brad for 10 years, but I've, I've, I've been in bands for you know, a long time. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. Even though I'm only 27, started early. Mm-hmm. Um, but we, you know, just, there, there was an, an instant connection there. Mm-hmm. And uh, I don't know, we just felt so comfortable with each other. Mm-hmm. I mean, we had one and a half days rehearsal when I joined, and then we were on tour. <laughs> Two years. Oh my God. <laughs> kind of, yeah, that's not fair. Yeah. <laughs> I can deal with it. It's not a problem. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I've been in bands, yeah, 10, 15 years. Mm. And it's, like, it's the best band I've been in. The, the chemistry is amazing. Mm. Um, you know, it's, and we, we, we all sort of like showing each other different things you know, within, you know, literature or music mm. or whatever. It's mm. constant sort of swapping and showing each other new things. It's great. Mm. Um, so I think. I know a lot, a lot of the stuff was was written on the road, mm. things like allergic and um, scared of girls and um, mm. um, Burger Queen and stuff were all, were, were all written um, in sound checks on the road, mm. and then, um, some other stuff like um, Pure Morning and you know Care Bars and stuff was sort of written mm. um, after we come off tour. We spent two months in a lot of studio just finishing off. We're, we're about thirty songs in the end, and we, mm. we just worked together in a lot of studio for two months, and then went straight to the studio. Mm. Uh, pick the ones we we really enjoyed. Mm. 
put them down. Mm. And then, but I mean, in, in, in you saying that, uh, you know, that the band has, uh, you know, not bought into things like retro, you did do 20th Century Boy. Ah, for a movie. For a movie. You sold out, you see. <laughs> <laughs> you won't even. No, no, absolutely. No, absolutely. No, I'm only joking. No, I'm only joking. Um, that, that, that was fun to do. I mean, yeah, I'm sure. I mean, Brian got the, got the part in the movie, and uh, they said, oh, well, you know, your, your character will be singing 20th Century Boy, and we said, oh, we'll do it for you. Sure. And, uh, we thought we'd come up with a really good version of it, actually. Absolutely. I mean, and, uh, and uh, there was that the whole... It's better, than the beat. it's better than doing a Beatles cover, anyway. Yes, yeah, I know that. <laughs> yes, and that, um, that's not even an argument, no. <laughs> no but, I mean, I, I, think, I think that obviously helped, um, again, just uh, push the band to a wider audience as well. But I think Pure Morning um, is the track that's obviously doing the business for you in the yeah. States now. Um, and, I mean, I, I know when I first heard an, adv- an advanced listening consider that track... Um, um, just knock my socks off, and it was. Uh, it, it is just so perfect for you know for an American market, but also I think for an international market. Exactly, yeah. Mm. And the, the funny thing about Pure Morning was, um, I mean, we'd, we'd actually finished and delivered the album to, to Hot Records, mm-hmm. finished it, and we went to do B sides. Mm-hmm. And Pure Morning was one of those B sides. Mm. It just came out of nowhere, mm. and uh, we thought oh, that's a bit too good for a B side. Mm. Mm. So I mean, we, you know, we handed it in the record company. They went ballistic about it. Yeah, we were we were thinking about it. Went in and just just remixed it a little bit, put it mm. on the album. Mm. That's one. Of the, actually, the last thing we we wrote on the album. Mm. So it's kind of an indication of where we could be going as well. You know, interesting because then you know you're going to really hate doing this because you're going to be doing lots and lots of more of it. You know, interviews yeah, and yeah. and everything in your face. But that's you know, is it is this a sort of a you know the the whole media side of it, is it something that you guys enjoy doing or is it just, uh, you know, another another sort of part of, um, you know, promoting yourselves? Um, well, I mean, we sort of look at it, we do look at it professionally. We, we are growing together. We mm. are, we, we have been here before, kind of, a, a lot of groundwork, mm. very hardworking band. Mm. Um, but it's, it's, I mean, we did a lot of press over the last couple of years. Mm. Kind, kind of drained, you know. Mm, sure. Does your head in. Mm. Um, we, we did a promo tour of England and Europe and America a couple of months ago for about six weeks. Mm. Um, so every day, t- 10 hours a day interviews, and it was kind of... I Insane. actually ended up in hospital in Madrid, I'm sure. exhausted. Yeah, yeah, it is, because, I mean, I think if you if you had to, had to film it all, um, I mean, Radiohead just recently released, um, you know, Meeting People is Easy. And I was, and I actually felt drained after an hour and a half of watching them go through, you know, all that they go through. Short of doing, I mean, on top of doing the live shows, but being, you know, this this wall of media that want to pick your brain, um, you know, and get a piece well, of you. Uh, that's, just, that, that's just the thing of, you know, the, the, the further you go up, you you can become more selective as well. I think. Sure. Um, so I think, I mean, instead of doing like ten crappy little interviews you can do mm. two or three really good ones and, right. and still and still cover more people but right. um, I, 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 I think the interviews become more, more interesting as well sometimes mm. you, you still get the odd fool who doesn't really know anything and mm. you instantly just go oh, yeah what <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, you know, it's waste, wasting my time wasting your time mm. Mm. Um, I, I think we're handle, handling it and we, we, do, we do enjoy it to a certain extent good, it's, kind good. Of, it's, just, it's just when you have days and days full of it yeah good. God, I just want to play music. And all, and all those odd accents that you have to deal with as well. Yeah, yeah. that's not too bad. I mean, I'm in a band with a weird accent, so... Yeah, I did. <laughs> no, great. Um, Stephen, if I could ask you, um, as I say, I know, we, uh, we, you know our time is um, at a premium here. Um, could I ask you just to do a quick ID for us? Sure. Um, this is going to be going out as well on... Uh, I'm going to be drafting the story, but this is going to be going out on 5FM, which is um, uh, our nationwide uh, uh, rock station. Okay. Um, if you could just say something like, hi, yeah, this is Stephen from Placebo, and uh, you're listening to The Night Zoo on 5FM. The, the Night Zoo? Believe it or not. Okay. Yeah. Whenever you're ready. Okay. You ready? Yep. Um, hi, this is Steve from Placebo, and you're listening to The Night Zoo on it's 105.7. No, on, um, on 5FM. So 507? No, 5FM. 5FM? Yeah. On 5FM. Night Zoo on 5FM. There you go. Is that it? That's it. I'll try it again. Okay, done. Hi, this is Steve from Placebo, 
and you're listening to the Night Zoo on 5FM. Thank you very much, sir. No worries. No worries. Well, good luck with the rest of it. I hope uh, you know you get home at, uh, shortly and uh, safely. And uh, just uh, just in, in in leaving you next year, um, will you be back out on the road in the new year? Yes, um, we've got three weeks off. That's from well, I get back to England twenty second of December. Three weeks off, and then we go back on on the road. So I think we'll be trying to come out to see you. We, the band have been trying to push it for this a long time. Good. This would be good. We heard top, um, Nancy Boy did quite well, didn't it? It did indeed. And uh, this is a uh, Pure Morning uh, currently plays on 29 stations here in uh, in in South Africa. And uh, you know we've moved on to You Don't Care About Us, and that has also um, been very very well received. It, it's it's actually quite interesting. The first album wasn't released locally in South Africa, and um, it was available on import. Uh, we've released um, the new album uh, locally, and. Uh, as I say, it's uh, it's it's been out obviously since the UK release date, but um, yeah. uh, selling through incredibly well, which uh, which is great. I mean, the fan base is 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 growing um, at a rate of knots. Um, it's it's funny. As I said, you can take a band like Skunk and Nancy, um, who had zero fan base here. They came out here. Um, their, their album, um, well, their the Stoosh album um, has gone uh, gold on the back of that of them coming out here. Wow. So you know, as I say. It's a, and I think a band like Placebo, you need to um, to see it live. I think is the ultimate translation. Yeah, definitely, mm. definitely. I mean, do many bands come out? Yeah, oh yeah. I mean, we, uh, I mean, we've, uh, I mean, we obviously have. We, we have the the mega stars, you know. We have the Janets, and we have the um, you know the the big names. But uh, I mean, we've had uh, we've had Skunk and Nancy. We've had um, I'm just trying to think in the last couple of months um, a, a lot of breaking acts for us because traditionally, I think in the last four years we've had more you know your 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 big staples coming out. But whereas now the circuit and and the um, arenas where uh, these artists can play, or bands like yourselves where you can play to five, six thousand people a night. Um, you know, the venues are there um, and also the, the audiences are now there because they're open uh, to, you know, to growing bands, not to bands that have been around for a hundred years. Sure. So, no, for sure. I mean, I, mean, uh, I, say I go back to Skank and Nancy just because uh, it's more recent, but uh, as I say, I mean, they, they were incredibly well received. I mean, we, we've had Depeche Mode out here. We've had um, um, a, a lot of new acts and obviously we're pushing to get the newer acts out here as well because we, you know, we're, it's, we're just too far away, um, you know, to, to see it, um, you know, to be as spoilt as an American or, you know, British audience are. So p- put uh, put pen to paper and get your butts down here. Yeah. <laughs> we've been pushing for like six months. You know? Really? It's like, we, you know, we, we, we've got to get out to South Africa. We've yeah. got to get out to Mexico. We've got to get out to all, all these places. Yeah. We have yeah. To do it. Yeah. And, uh, um, it, it's been acknowledged now. So good, good. I, I'll probably get, I can guarantee we'll be out next year. Stunning. Definitely. Well, we'll push from our side. And, yeah, uh, do it. Let's yeah. go for it. Absolutely. But, Stephen, thanks again for your time. Much appreciated. Thanks, Jason. Take care. Yeah, you too, man. I'll, I'll speak to you soon. Thank you. Take care, man. Cheers. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.